I figured I'd make a video because it, I, I feel like it'd be easier for me to um, tell you the changes I want to do within a video than it's the right amounts. The, there's a couple changes. Um, and I might be upfront honest. The, the model does look a little jarring. I did show this to the uh, uh, to some of my main co-hosts that does stuff with me on my other channels. And I asked for the feedback. Oh, and some of the, some of the feedback I'm going to give you is from them. And some of it is going to be from me. Too. Um, so a couple of changes I want to see done to this. Uh, the arm length and the shoulder width. I feel like if you can take um, the shoulders, move them out and up, it'll make it look a lot better. Um, his shoulders are supposed to be up kind of um, chin level where they're at. Um, and the shoulders also look like they're just a little too far in. So both arms, if you can move them out and up a little bit to make it match, um, uh, I said the top of the shoulder, kind of real chin level, the fingertips above the knee. If you can do that, I think that will look better for the lengthening. A couple of the other critiques is the proportions between the body and the head. Uh, the body needs to be a little bit bigger, um, a little, uh, well, a bit more bigger. So, body a little bit bigger, um, the neck collar a little bit bigger too. Probably about maybe 15, 25% bigger. Uh, just, you know, make it look like this more there. The other one is the face. Make the head a bit smaller to a better proportion of body. And kind of not, uh, not have the face as full, but, you know, shorten it down a little bit. And maybe make it a little bit more inward so um not as because it looks puffy that's the best way i can put the thumbnail it looks puffy uh but if you can smooth it down on the inside um make the head smaller the glasses make them about you know shrink them down up to about you know 80 70, 80% of what the actual size is now. Just, you know, shrink them down a little bit, but they, they fit better around the head. Um, and the last ones I have is these little spikes on the legs. Remove those spikes um, on both sides. And same thing with the arms. Um, I like kind of like the design of the arms um it's not a traditional almost of what he usually has but i i do like it um but yeah if you just move those and just i know you're going for a 3d look but just just remove those and keep the base color underneath of it keep the castle look of the two-tone right there um because that's the way it's supposed to look like just remove these little i don't know what they are but remove them on both sides. Um, these little three pedestals, that's right here. Go ahead and keep them, but change them to the same color as what this is right now. Uh, the gray. But yeah, if you could do that, I think that would be... What I want to see for a next revision. Um, um, yeah. Shoulders out and up a little bit, fingertips above the knee, shoulders around chin level, make the body bigger and fuller, make the head a little bit smaller, where the proportions of the head and the body look better, shrink the glasses down, make the face a little, not as full as what it is, just a little bit thinner, um, get rid of these little spikes on the arms and the legs and turn these three little pedestals on the arms to the same color as the um, coupling on his armor. 
um, do those and, and maybe shrink, shrink their arms down a little too. No, well, they're not as big, but uh, let's 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 go over those updates first and see what happens. 